Okay, and then over in here is where it starts getting really good. You got the colors like this with this stuff embedded in it, this tan color. You see what I'm talking about? And then you start getting into the gristle again. See this? Different material, different material. This is more the tan, this is the dark. See how it splits even? A lot of it's covered barnacles and stuff out there. You can't really see it, but then you got this material here. Then we start getting into the good stuff. We start running into the reds. Look at this in here. This is part of this tendon. It's absolutely mind-blowing in here. You can start running into the reds. Lots of dark banding with the tan and the reds in here. Now this is biology. This is absolutely not geology. If anybody can prove to me how this got here and just came out of nothing, I would absolutely love to hear your theory. Because <laughs> I know what this is. This stuff is melted down over the harder stuff. This would be your harder, your tendinous material, and this would be some kind of a fleshy material that's melted down over it. Look at the red you get into here. Okay? And now the reason for this is this is, this is petrified or uh, mud fossilized different than stuff that would be inland. Because it's all it's being uh, uh, preserved with salt water and salt air. Look at this stuff. This is absolutely mind-blowing. To me, look at this. I'm standing on top of it, okay? Now, look at the difference. You got more of your uh, sandstone-y type material, your fleshy material, and then you got this here. This is what I believe is part of the gristle, part of the part that would have, uh, muscle would have been attached in between here. You see what I'm saying? Uh, this would have been the outer layer, the fascia or whatever, the muscle. The muscle would have been laying in between these two. And then the muscle would have been laying in there. The muscle would have been laying in there. Inside of there. And inside of each one of these separates each band of muscle. Does that make sense? The muscle would have rose up above it. It would have stood up vertically because these are running vertically. Okay, they're not horizontal. Some of the stuff is very hard to figure out which direction it's laying. Where it's laying horizontal, where it's vertical, where it's an angle, what part of the body it's on. All that. And that's what's really hard to understand and hard to figure out. Look at the difference in material. You start chipping that stuff away, you start getting into red. This is absolutely incredible in here, man. This is, a, this is what I believe is an abrupt transition. The, 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 if you were to cut a muscle in half, and pet, this is what it would be, the, the, the bands in the muscle. You see what I'm saying? I hope you do. This would be muscle in this area. This would be muscle with gristle running through it. That would be separating that part of the muscle band from that part of the muscle band. That would be a separate part of the muscle from that part of the muscle band. And all these would keep each one separate. The, a synovial membrane, if you will. That's what I think we have going on. I'm not 100% sure. Look at this stuff in here. It's absolutely incredible. It's going every direction. Then you got the lime green feeding on the red here and stuff. It's feeding on the minerals that's in this. See, you got, you look at the difference in colors. Look what it's feeding on. It's not feeding on that black line there or that black line there. It's feeding on that. It's feed, not feeding on that. It's feeding on that. So wherever it's finding the minerals or the nutrients it needs, it's feeding on, on this creature. Look at the difference in material. And you can actually get a side view of what these straps are like. See that? That's what this, they're like on the side. I mean, they're very, very tough material. Look at they're running every direction in this like you'd find in meat. If you cut a chunk of meat apart. I mean it's just all abrupt transition. Running this direction, running that direction. Apt. Look at that back in there. Look at this. Are you kidding me? This is geology? I'm sorry, I'm pumped up. I'm, I'm so amped up right now. Look at this, this piece I'm standing inside of. See that? This would have, I believe, been part of the muscle that would have come up out of here. And it would have even changed as it got higher. Okay, then you would have stepped over into this part. Over into here, more. This would have been a section of muscle over into here, running vertical. And all these things would have separated it. 
Okay, some of, that would have been a piece of muscle tendon fiber in there by itself, and all this stuff surrounded it and separated it from the one I'm standing on. That is what I believe is going on. Here's an abrupt transition right here, part of a, 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 a fiber. See how that material like that, and it changes and gets from that material right there, real fine. Look how it's going to that material right there, and then it gets more and more coarse. You see that? That is an abrupt transition, okay? This is what they look like. This is what they look like in your body. Look at this stuff. Oh! This is an abrupt transition. And I'm right down inside of it, okay? Look at this, how this, these two come together. And then this one runs out this way. And this material is totally different than this material. See that? This is much tougher than this stuff when it got petrified. Two different uh, tissue types. This is an abrupt transition. There's that pattern we find. Remember all the time? Of biology, of life. And this thing is huge and here's more of it see you've got the tissuey type t stuff with the gristle in it the banding I'm probably gonna run out of battery here <laughs> this is a massive one this here is an abrupt transition now let's see if this is the one that I was seeing this here is look how it just runs like <clears throat> right down there like that see that this is one of those also only bigger now see the fleshy the more reddish tannish material with the stuff embedded in it compared to that this stuff is stuck to the side of this okay this stuff runs deeper down than what you're seeing in fact look at it down here okay Now look at this over here. Look at this banding. Those two that run right up, come together and go right up over there and over that top of that one. Then these two run this way and go this way and twist over the top of that one. This is a muscle would have been connected to this. Look how this changes in here. Okay. See this band comes across here. Twists up into there. And it all runs right up underneath there. Same thing, that all runs underneath the mountain. What's well, the creature? That up in there, the gray, see the gray in there? That's kale and clays. And the creature's skin that collapsed down on top after everything got decomposed and then mud fossilized. Look how this goes from this material into the finer material. This is the real strong stuff right in here that binds it all together. See this one?